own selfishness and our own ways that are decrepit before the Lord and begin to see the glory of Christ in a new light so that we can know that God is the same God that did the miracles in the Old Testament. He's the same God that worked when Jesus walked the shores of Galilee. We got two verses here, verses 14 and 15. Let's listen carefully here. Uh, 14, and then we'll read 15 together. 14 says, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Hallelujah. That was his summons to the people, to the then known world, the Jews. Repent, have a change of mind, and believe now the good news of the kingdom of God. So I'm encouraging you, have a change of mind, have a change of heart. Whatever has been going on in your situation, have a change of mind and a change of heart, and believe the good news. Amen. Praise God. Father, thank you. For the word of God that is coming forth at this time, we're asking now that by the power of Jesus' name, that your word will find place in our hearts in the name of Jesus and that it will bring forth fruit, Lord. Hallelujah. Fruit unto God. 
in Jesus' name. Take control now. Minister, strengthen, heal, and deliver. Set free by your power. Oh, God, for his leak now. And what we've got to do, we've got to do it with all of our hearts and all of our might by the power of Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord, I ask your blessing upon those that are weary, those that are fearful, those, Lord God, that have labored, those bodies that are sick and diseased, that you might heal. Lord, frustrate the plan of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For well, you are for us. And the Bible says if God be for us. Who can be against us? We thank you master. For blessing your people today. In Jesus name. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. I, I want to. Proclaim the good news. With the idea that God wants to heal the sick and diseased. He wants to heal the physical sick. He wants to heal the emotional sick. He wants to heal. This is his design and plan. And I'm discovering more and more, boy, do we need healing. Is that right? Lots and lots and lots of healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I am so grateful to the Lord for loving us that way. And caring for us. Amen. All right. Let's see. Just reiteration to those of you that uh, I'm sure you've heard this message so many times. But Jesus said to the Jews... The time is fulfilled. The time is right. And the kingdom of God is at hand. And the kingdom of God, you and I know when you study history, how the kingdoms ruled and reigned over the years. They had to have a king that could lead that kingdom into rule, right? And... Um, if you remember your history, there were several kingdoms over the years that came and they grew. And as a result of their conquest, uh, when their time was, uh, when the time came for another kingdom to rule, then, of course, that kingdom was overthrown. And uh, there were great kings in the, in the earlier days, very great kings. And sometimes when I read history and read the Bible of how these kings reigned and ruled, I said, they had to be valiant men, men of valor, strong, courageous men to lead an army, to face battle when, it, when they could have been destroyed. But they, through that, they conquered a lot. And um, so Jesus, when he came on the scene at the right time, at the appointed time, he says, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the good news about this kingdom. The gospel is good news. So look at someone and say, good news, good news is the gospel. And you know, over the years, of course, it, does, it seems like the gospel wasn't good news. But I tell you, it is good news. It is good news, glad tidings. Why is it such good news? Because Jesus has said that the times come and my kingdom is to rule. The kingdom of God is the rule of God, the rule and reign of Christ. So if he says that the kingdom of God has come, it's time for it to rule and reign, I want you to, uh, he says, I'm, I'm, I'm proclaiming good news now. No matter what has happened, no matter how much Satan was ruling, at this time, God's kingdom is going to rule. And everywhere he went, he demonstrated the rule of God. And Jesus, the Bible says, is the same yesterday, and today and forever. So that means he's still ruling somewhere, somehow, right? Because this kingdom is still ruling uh, is upon the earth. So, uh, though the purpose of this kingdom, I'm going to read two, verse, two uh, different scriptures here. The purpose which d displays the purpose of the kingdom. 
In St. John chapter 10, verse 10 says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come, says Jesus, that the sheep might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So Jesus came as the prince and king of this mighty kingdom to bring life to his subjects. So important now, I want you to follow with me. Jesus came to give life. The purpose of him announcing the good news of the kingdom is that people would believe and become a partaker of the benefits of the kingdom. Somebody say benefits. All right, it's the same today. Whatever he did, he said, the works that I do shall you do also and greater works than these shall you do. Them that believe, right? Them that believe. So faith is important in the process. Believing. We go through a lot of things, but it's still important that we believe the good news that Jesus proclaimed. 1 John 3, 8 says, For this purpose, first he said, He that sin is of the devil, because the devil sinned from the beginning, right? Then he says, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Isn't that right? So you see the mighty king of this kingdom, Jesus Christ, God uh, 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 allowed him to rule and reign as king here on earth of this kingdom. Now the day will come when Jesus will give up his rule and allow the father to be ruled over all. But for now, during the reign of this kingdom, he's the king. Not only is he the prince of life, but he's the king of this kingdom. And boy, does he have power. Boy, does he have power. And when you follow his life in the Gospels, you see how easy he dealt with the opposing powers. It's important for us now, right? All right. So, uh, and then 1 John, I didn't finish that. Oh, yeah, I did. 1 John uh, 3, 8, saying, for this purpose, because the devil sinned and brought sin through Adam on the whole of the universe, distorting and twisting life and the values and everything else. Just twisted them so that mankind could not put their trust in God. So everything became twisted. Man began to try and satisfy his own self with, uh, um, and uh, you know the rest, rest is history. But now, after many years, Jesus comes on the scene and says, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom or the rule of God is at hand. And he asks his subjects to repent now and believe the good news. No matter how bad the news has been to you and I, I am encouraging you now to believe the good news about Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> so we have here in Matthew 4 a bit more insight when Jesus came on the scene. We're still talking now. We're aiming in about the healing of the sick, right? Okay, Matthew 4, 23 says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and disease, all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments or pain, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. Now look at this kingdom of God and the rule of God in action. Sin came, and as a result of sin, things got twisted. Death came as a result of sin, right? So all of this came upon the whole earth. And now Jesus came as the marvelous king of this kingdom, as the last Adam to rule and reign. So the purpose now, Jesus came and he, the Bible says he 
came teaching, teaching, right? Preaching, proclaiming, right? Announcing, heralding the good news, right? And healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases and torments or pain. And he said those who were possessed with demons, he healed them. You see the beauty of this kingdom, right? You see what it's all about when you talk in terms of ruling and reigning? The kingdom of God, when God's kingdom is ruling and reigning, people are get, getting set free from all kinds of sickness, all kinds of diseases, all kinds of demonic oppression. Are you hearing me? The kingdom of God is ruling in different parts of the earth now. So Jesus, when he came to do what he planned to do, he first told them, repent now and believe the good news. There is a reconstructing of the body of Christ. The body of Christ now, God says, rebuild. That means something wasn't built right. That means something was out of order. Isn't that right? So God says, I want the kingdom, I want the church rebuilt. Hallelujah. So I'm coming to you and announcing the good news as to why Jesus came to proclaim the good news and to heal the sick and diseased and to destroy the works of the devil. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm announcing again the good news. I told you to bring your cousins and your relatives and the friends and loved ones because we are heralding the good news, the gospel of the kingdom of God. And God is getting involved. And if you will be obedient, you're going to see the fruit of your obedience. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? God is moving by his mighty spirit. No matter what has happened in the past, but, but I challenge you to open your spirit and believe God at this time and begin to shake off that which is dust and cobwebs in the mind and, and begin to believe a new faith in God. Let, let your faith be revived. Trials, tribulation, persecutions, oppressions, affliction came to weigh you down. But this is a new day. This is a new time. Hallelujah. For God is calling you and I to strip ourselves of our own selfishness and our own ways that are decrepit before the Lord and begin to see the glory of Christ in a new light so that we can know that God is the same God that did the miracles in the Old Testament. He's the same God that worked when Jesus walked the shores of Galilee. He's the same God because he does not have the capacity to change. And if you and I can believe again, hallelujah, if we can look again toward his holy mountain, then we'll begin to see the blessedness of God. I'm challenging you. I'm announcing some good news to you. You can be healed of your decrepitness. You can be healed of your diseases. You can be healed, hallelujah, of the physical torment of your body. You can be healed of the oppressions that Satan has brought in your life. You can be healed because this is the time of the kingdom rule and God is ruling by his mighty power. I want to ask you now, are you ready for what God is ready to do? Are you ready to do, to see and believe a God again? Are you ready? Because it's coming and it's coming like a mighty wind. God says it's my time now and I'm going to show up and I'm going to do what nobody could ever do. Well, be said it, but I need you to believe again. I need you to hope again. I need you to put aside doubt. I need you to put aside fear. I need you to put it aside now. And I believe you. I believe, need you to look unto the hill which cometh your help. For your help cometh from the Lord that made the heavens and the earth. So go ahead and give him praise. He's worthy. He's worthy of praise. He's worthy of praise. For the kingdom has come. 
Hallelujah. I love the arrival of the kingdom. When I see the kingdom come, hallelujah, that means God's going to heal the sick. And God, hallelujah, is going to heal the disease. And God's going to cleanse the lepers. And God's going to do things, hallelujah, that we cannot do. He's going to do things that we prayed for for so long. Every prayer, God knows what's been included in every tear. For no tear went wasted because God, hallelujah, for tears and, and prayers in faith unto God goes up as a sweet incense into the nostrils of our God. Hallelujah. And they go up, hallelujah, and the vows in Revelation when they were poured out. Ah, I believe he said it was the sweet incense or the prayers of the righteous. Saints of God, your prayers have been heard. God has seen your weeping and God has seen your tears and God has seen your steadfastness. Hallelujah for the cause of Christ. And God's about to raise you up and do things like you've never seen before. He's going to visit your household. He's going to visit your home. He's going to visit your loved ones because this is the declared appointed time of the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And even as I'm preaching, sickness is going to leave your body. And even as I'm proclaiming the good news, I want you to check yourself before you leave this place. And hallelujah, because the power of Jesus Christ is going to move up and down this assembly. It is the appointed time. It is the time of God's reign. It is the time of the Holy Spirit's operation. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is ready. God is moving by his spirit. For I heard him say, not by might and nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. And I see the spirit of God moving. I see the spirit of God moving, healing cancer. I see the spirit of God moving. Hallelujah. Even every kind of back condition. I see the spirit of God moving, healing every kind of stomach condition. I see the hand of God moving, healing all kind of headaches. I see the hand of God moving, healing lupus disease. I see the hand of God moving. Hallelujah. For God is at work and his mighty kingdom is ruling over all. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And now I see Satan running. I see Satan afraid. I see the devil afraid. I see him afraid because God is moving by his spirit. God said, it's my time now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I see the devil running. I see him mad. I see him frustrated. I see him going because God said, my kingdom now is going to rule over all. Ah, my soul is happy. My soul is happy because God says, son, this is the appointed time. Hallelujah. Bring your cousins. Bring your in-laws. Bring your outlaws. Begin to tell them that this is the appointed time that God says when I am moving by my spirit. And God says I'm making a lighthouse. And you thought you suffered in vain. You thought everything you went through was wasted. But God says I was making a lighthouse. And I was making a lighthouse. And I was building a showpiece for my glory. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, I saw the devil parading like he was somebody great to him, but he was parading because the fullness of the time had not come. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I heard to God, I said, God, what does it mean when the fullness of time come? God said, that means I'm going to get involved. Hallelujah. And I'm so glad, hallelujah, that God is getting involved. Um, it may have been a long time, but let me challenge you now to believe the good news now. But God's got a plan for your mother. God's got a plan for your sister. God's got a plan for your son. God's got a plan for your daughter. God's got a plan. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's got a plan. God's got a plan. Ah, who glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 
Haleluya. Oh, glory. Alabo Shanda. Glory to God. There's something about the gospel. There is something about the good news. Hallelujah. For Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul found out something about proclaiming the good news. He said, it is the power of God unto salvation. Salvation comes when the gospel is announced. Salvation comes when the gospel is announced. Healing comes when the gospel is announced. And somebody, check yourself before you leave. Check yourself before you leave. In this atmosphere, the Spirit of God is moving. The Spirit of God is moving. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Your body will be healed. Glory to God. That disease will be cured. Because Jesus is on the scene. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. The purpose of God. Oh, glory. Uh, how, ha, ah, glory, ha, la boshan, la boshan, hallelujah, glory to God, oh yes, Lord, Bible says on Christ, the solid rock, I stand, uh, all other ground is sinking sand. Glory to God. And let me tell you why and how Jesus could and would do these healings. Adam came. Adam sinned. And sin brought death upon every creature. Nothing truly could be done as it was supposed to be until there was a perfect offering. A perfect sacrifice to atone for the sins of humanity but I have you to know that Jesus is the Lamb of God the perfect sacrifice he sacrificed his life and as he sacrificed his life he took upon himself the sins of all humanity follow with me now and and, and if the true that the word says um, that sin was the cause of disease and suffering if sin is really the cause and the Bible bears me out then sin's true remedy is found in the cross 